Okay, so today on Clay's AC and Auto Repair in Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and now what's going to be called the Clayway, that's going to be my new URL, we're going to show you pretty something pretty sweet. Um, we're going to talk to you about axles that are bent. Now, this particular vehicle is a 2002 Acura MDX, but this procedure is going to be the same, and this is something that I invented today. I've never seen anybody do anything like this. Um, and it actually tested positive uh, to check and see if an axle was bent. What we basically did was we put the vehicle up on jack stands in our situation, a lift. In your situation, jack stands. If it's an all wheel drive vehicle, have all four wheels up on jack stands. If it's front wheel drive, you only need two. If the video is helpful, please subscribe, click the notifications, share the video, send me your nice comments, like the video, all that jazz. And remember, if anyone else can do it, you can do it too. So what this is pretty sweet, like I said, I'm pretty stoked up about this. So we wanted to check and see if this axle was bent because we had a vibration on this side. And in this particular situation, we didn't have uh, a lot of, you know, broke. You see how the bushing has a little, little tears in it? Not really that big a deal. Uh, still pretty solid. Um, we took a, we took the jack and we put it underneath the, the axle here and we and we you know we pulled that stuff with a pry bar check that out that wasn't the problem then we're like man we're looking at the axle and we're like it looks bent we're not sure is the is the, it's the rubber bushing the thing that's moving so we devised a plan on how to actually check it and you'll notice that we have these hash marks on here okay and we did this and that tells us when we turn on a strobe light, and I'm gonna grab one, and I'll tell you the reason we didn't video. The reason it. that we didn't videotape this is because we didn't think it would come through, but I'm gonna be able to give you a good explanation and everything. So we took a flashlight like this. Now this particular flashlight has a strobe effect. I don't know how that's coming through, but, or you could use a, um, a timing light or something like that, which is gonna have a strobe effect well with engine RPMs. And we placed these hash marks on here. Now, I didn't think that the axle itself was bent. I thought it was the cup. So we also did the same thing, basically, on the cup. Except for we only used one mark. This is pretty neat stuff because this will actually show you that these axles, the axles bent or the cups bent or whatever the situation is. So you're obviously going to turn on the strobe, start up the vehicle, have an assistant inside there, rev up the engine with it in gear and have the axle spinning and then you'll look and see if these are straight and true now we did this freehand so you don't have to worry too much about it not being exactly the way you know them being 100 percent straight but the straighter they are the better it is so just take your time it only is going to take you half a second anyways to write the marks on there you can use a white or yellow something that's going to stand out and then have it dark so you can actually see it with the strobe and that will tell you that the axle is okay so what's going to happen with our axle is we have our little hammers and we'll consider them hammers like that they're going to be you know they're going to be parallel if it's straight they're not going to move much but if, if the axle's bent they're going to do a swing back and forth motion not quite this much obviously that would have to be really bent you could probably tell that just by looking at it with your eye but if they look like they're swinging back and forth then you've got a bent axle or bent cup. So I hope you guys found the video to be really cool. Um, it's a technique you can try at home. It's something that's very pretty simple. Uh, and unfortunately, of course, you won't be able to tell if the cup is broken on the inside. Axles are very inexpensive. You know, I mean, generally anywhere from forty to sixty dollars. So you're not gonna kill yourself if you put in a brand new axle in something and it didn't actually need it. But it is nice to have a method to be able to do it. So please subscribe to the video, click the notification, share my video. If you want to reach out to me, hit me up on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Clay Motion. God bless you guys. Remember, don't be the next to them, be the first to you. And I can help you with all your automotive needs, but I can't help you with the drip drip of gonorrhea. Have a great day.